Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music, and in this video we're going to explore in more depth fantasy music. This cue is devoted entirely to the fantasy genre, and let's just take a look at how it flows. You guys used to be in lakes and oceans, right? And you used to be able to be seen from there. Everyone lived near the water. Am I right? I know what those scratches are doing to you. Is there a key that looks like mud that you guys are given? Is it nearby? So there we have an excerpt, and if you look at the instrumentation, some of the keys to a fantasy cue, the harmonic structure are primar is primarily composed of triads, and the melodic structure is structured into eight and possibly 16 bar phrases. This one in particular is eight bar phrases, as we see in measures, measures one through eight. And then again, the theme repeats. Now, the rhythm in fantasy cues is usually three, four, 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 three, eight, triple meter or duple meter. We don't usually have like five eight or seven eight or five four. It's usually tri triple meter or duple meter. And the rhythm is not very prominent. It sort of flows. And the music is being driven primarily by the harmony and the melody and the orchestration. So we avoid complex meters and meter changes in general in fantasy and magic music. Now the orchestration that we usually use is pitched metallic percussion, such as Celesta and Glockenspiel or vibraphone. So in this cue, we have Glockenspiel and we also have Celeste in the first eight bars. So let's go back quickly and... You guys used to be in lakes and oceans, right? And you used to be able to be seen from there because... We also have harp as well, which is typical pluck parts and also glissandi. So we have a lot of glissandi. And also another common characteristic of fantasy magic music is choir. And we have the choir here, the Voxos Choir. And <clears throat> another characteristic of fantasy music is pitched springs, strings, usually with harp. And that's what we have going on 
Here we have uh, pizzicato bass, and here we have pizzicato viola. Now, one thing we don't have, which is also commonly employed in magic or fantasy music, is trilled parts and tremolo strings. So that would be the only thing that's actually not been included in terms of uh, orchestration, other than you can also have non-pitched metallic percussion, like your triangle, chime, cymbals, possibly bell tree. So those are also common in magic music. So you only need several of the elements in order to get the listener into the magic mode. So that basically describes the characteristics of this cue and the orchestration that was used. So that concludes this tutorial on fantasy music and stay tuned for more on other genres. So this is Bill McFadden. If you like this video, please click like. And if you wish to be on the list and be notified, notified as soon as additional videos come out, uh, please subscribe. Also, it helps me keep this channel going. So. This is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music, signing off.